Welcome. Welcome back to the Pennine Way, to Scotland, and more specifically, the edge of the Northumberland National Park on the track heading up towards White Law. What a beautiful day. Perfect running weather, actually. Nice and cloudy, nice breeze. It's all good. The plan today, as we're doing the Summer Spine Challenger North next year, in June, it's now September 2022, we thought we'd come out, start at Kirk Yetham, run back towards the Shill, which is the final sting in the tail of the Pennine Way, and then run back again. And the, the connoisseurs amongst you will know that when you leave the Shill, the Pennine Way breaks off into two. There's the high route, which we're heading up on now, and the low route, which we're gonna hit on the way back. So when I walked the Pennine Way in 2019, you have to, I came back the high route, but the spine race takes the low route. So we thought we'd come out, enjoy the bank holiday weekend and recce a bit of the course. Now, you may say, why are you only going to the shell and not going all the way to the Chibiot? Well, we've got Kinder relaxing in the van. He's been jumping in and out of the river this morning. Been on a nice walk. So he'll sleep for a good two or three hours now while we're out on a run. But look at this, stunning. We just passed the summit of White Law, which is just there. And then we're going to weave up around to the top of there to Black Rig. And then just over the top is the shill. It's a spectacular looking hill. This was a really last minute decision to come here. Steph plays hockey and she was playing against Whitley Bay yesterday. So I helped Jay move some stuff in the van. I loaded the van at lunchtime and drove up to meet Steph in Whitley Bay. And then we uh, drove up here last night and we parked the van at the Border Hotel and slept next door on the green there. That is steeper than it looks. <laughs> The views just get even more spectacular as you climb. Off to the southwest there is the Border Ridge and uh, the Pennine Way continues over towards Burness. And we'll go through Burness later on on our way to Bellingham where we're camping tonight. We're not gonna wild van camp tonight, we're gonna stay in a campsite so we can get a shower. And this is where the, if you're heading north, that's the high road and that's the low road. Onwards to the shell. Almost there. What a view. I'm kind of glad that we're not going to the top of the Chivia today because it's in cloud. <laughs> You're not really going to be able to see it. We can only just see it with our eyes, but um, Hut 2 is just in the mid ground down there. That's a welcome relief as you come across the border ridge and then naturally you do the um, out and back to the Cheviot and then drop down that slope there. That's a real shin smasher down there. And then hut two is a nice welcome relief from the weather. On the spine I believe they've got noodles going in there. Right, let's climb the fence. On the style obviously, we're not going to scale the barbed wire. It's 
quite a cold breeze coming in. But the visibility today is pretty spectacular. The borders of Scotland, the Scottish border hills, and then over towards England. It's definitely time to keep moving. That breeze is quite cool. Um, we're considering, it's just a consideration at this point, but we're thinking about doing the Cheviot Go in December. Um, that will be 55 miles worth of gruelling, cold um, Cheviot fun. So it's back towards Kirk Yetham now, and I'm quite interested to see what the low route is like. We've got about a kilometre and then we split off. Well, it's a lovely sweeping route so far down. Certainly more runnable than the higher route. quite a momentous weekend for one simple reason a very personal reason a job that I've been working at for 18 years almost for the same company it was my last day on Friday it's now Sunday I've uh, made the leap after all this time but the job has been good for me over the years met lots of great friends and the shift pattern that I used to do four on four off allowed me to have many adventures on the days off the Pennine Way in 2019 for one um, but it was time to change I will uh, talk to you more no doubt in the future about what's coming next but it's going to be good some might say it's dream job time This is one of those descents where you have to keep the brakes on so you don't go off too quickly. So there's around about nine months to go until the Challenger North. The Southern Challenger is 108 miles and the Northern one is 160. So, it's a fair bit further. So I promise this time that I'll train properly. Last time, Steph, Steph did it the right way. She got a coach, followed the plan, whereas I just winged it a little bit. So it'd be nice to be able to run more of it. But once again, I think the goal will be to get to the end in the allotted time which I think is maybe 96 hours, something like that. I'll put it on screen now, some more details, but looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good one. Ah, there's that Tunnox thing. <laughs> And there's the high route coming off the hill now and it's the final road up and over to Kirk Yetham. I'm not even gonna try and run this. It's quite runnable that last five or six k from where the path splits off. It's runnable, runnable all the way to here pretty much. I mean this is runnable if you fit <laughs> but I have no doubt that when we get to this point on the Spine Challenger North, I'm going to be even more destroyed than I was at the end of the Challenger South. <laughs> it's been great looking back at that video. Uh, some great memories for us both there. Me talking absolute rubbish. But what's new, Steph says. <laughs>
yeah it's great to savor those memories though especially in times where you're not feeling 100 percent but we keep smiling and we keep moving forward that's all that really matters <laughs> so it's now a gentle jog down into Kirkgetham itself or if you're walking the Pennine Way it's a nice gentle walk down the hill whether you've covered a few miles or you've covered 268 or 272 if you've done the Cheviot something along those lines anyway it's nice to see this descent in daylight anyway it was dark the last time I did this in 2019 This site will be a welcome relief for all that run or walk the Pennine Way. I will certainly be glad to get to this point next summer through the um, Montaigne Archway here. Over the road. Get me a pint ready. And to the wall. Kiss the wall. Sit in John Kelly's plant pot. <laughs> That's quite a collection. And there's the van. Here he is. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Kinder. Kinder, obviously named after Kinder Scout. Good boy. Kinder. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Even though we only did 17k, I was still ready for that beer at the end there. We just met David actually, who's just finished walking. And he, um, he had a really great trip by the sounds of it. He did it 45 years ago, north to south, and he's come back and done it south to north this time. We're just gonna exercise Kinder for a little while and then head off to Bellingham. So as always, I mean, we'll see you again soon, hopefully, this time next year. There he goes. <laughs> this time in June, um, in nine months' time even, um, we'll be back here, fingers crossed, touching that wall and earning that medal again. <sighs> okay, so as always, we'll speak to you all again very soon. Bye for now. Sitting John Kelly's plant pot. <laughs>